I purposely speak broken English with a native Chinese girl I know. A few years ago I met this Chinese girl at UNI. Since then we've been acquaintances that chat occasionally. She's alright at speaking English, better than I am at speaking Chinese, but definitely gets confused frequently. When I started texting her, I immediately started speaking normally until every reply back was what you say. Or I don't understand what you saying and she would have to Google translate everything. So I started speaking in broken English. It's actually worked perfectly since then but I can't help but feel like what I'm doing is racist. She's the only person I talk to this way too. I feel quite bad about speaking to her like this but if I speak normally she doesn't understand anything. I don't proclaim to be the best at English but if I speak to her normally she's confused and I'm frustrated. TL, Doc Arai only speak in broken English with a Chinese girl I know and that's probably racist. I stole a small amount of cash from a register at a job when I was 15, nearly got caught and still regret it. I wasn't poor, or hungry. I was a privileged kid and I didn't think they would notice. I had no idea the cash contents were checked and counted compared to the digital transactions at the end of the day, so I figured they wouldn't miss a few dollars. It may have been 20 at most. They called up my mom the next day that there was money missing, and I lied. I said I had no idea, that I may have made a mistake somewhere and that was it. I'm now 24 and I still regularly beat myself up over it. I was an idiot with no idea how the world worked. I didn't even need it. I've had several jobs handling money since then and I've never felt any temptation at all. I'm still baffled at myself why I did it. I stole a nice Logitech headset when I was in 9th grade. When I was in high school, in Spanish we were doing something that needed headphones, so the teacher had a whole bin of them, school owned. Mixed inside were some pretty nice Logitech headsets, so I decided to pocket the set. I ended up using those headphones for a long time until they broke from use. I honestly never really felt bad about doing it. I confess to having stole stuff from people close to me. I stole a whole bunch of food and stuff from people I know, whether it's family or friends. I stole a lot of goodies and they were just sitting there all nice for me but I can't steal anymore. It's time to be a symbol of peace and justice. I lied to my best friend so I could read her messages. This happened around 8 years ago when Facebook was the dominating social platform. My friend was dating a guy that I had a teensy crush on and I was hella jealous. Being the controlling kid I was, I wanted to know what was going on in their relationship so I straight up lied to her and told her that Mark Zuckerberg was doing maintenance on accounts with a certain setting, and asked if I could have her password to help turn it off. We were impressionable kids, so she fell for it instantly. Needless to say, I read her messages and 8 years later I'm regretting it. I logged into my friend's account and used up all of his gaming points. In the 5th grade, the entire class had an educational site that when we got things correct gave us points to spend in the gaming section. My teacher told the entire class when we first got introduced to it that our username and password was our first names. Me and him were competitive about the points and one day when I spent all mine, I logged into his and used up the 7k points he saved up, we get small amounts of points and pay for games with small amounts too. He freaked out that someone logged into his stuff and I never got caught. I blamed someone else for what I did in 4th grade and got away with it. In 4th grade, there was a rule where you couldn't stand on the metal bars in the stalls. I decided to do the opposite and I had stood on the bars. Now after that I had walked out of the bathroom and it turns out a girl had snitched on me. So I too tell the teacher that it was a different girl. 
the teacher believed me and the girl got in trouble. To this day the teacher still looks at the girl funny.